Hey guys, how are you? Jeff Thistead here, and we just got done doing Rocky Mountain National Park. We drove up Trail Ridge Road. It's an all-American road, a nationally designated scenic byway. It's the highest crossing of the Continental Divide. I made a, I made a mistake when we were up there. It's 12,183 feet, so check it out. And also, I went to school in Fort Collins, but I had never driven up Highway 34 from Loveland, basically I-25 in Loveland, up to Estes Park, 28 miles, through Big Thompson Canyon. It is amazing. I saw some big horn sheep up on the side of the cliffs. Uh, an amazing road. So be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think. But All American Road, Trail Ridge Road, nationally doesn't need scenic byway, the highest continuously paved road in North America. We did it all in the 55. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. Check out the video. And here we are waiting to get in. There's the line to get in. You need a reservation? I got my reservation, but holy moly. Yeah, it's not even nine o'clock. Welcome to Rocky Mountain National Park. It's been half an hour and we're uh, still waiting in line to get in Rocky Mountain National Park. At least we have nice views. All right, we're next in line. I got my America the Beautiful annual pass and my ID, we're ready to go. And I've also got where to go. I've got my reservation here as well. So, been waiting in line for over half an hour. Hello. Good morning. And just the back your pass real quick. September. Thank you. Please, I'd love that. Thank you. Have Thank a great you day. too. And we're in Rocky Mountain National Park. Got my map on my paper. All right. Let's roll. Road. Wow, there we go. A little above Timberline action for you up there. Say we check out Rainbow Curve, huh? And that's the road we came in on. All right. What engine is in there? Small block. Thanks, man. Five spokes, I love it. American Racing Torque Thrust. Yep. In Thrust We Trust. And Rolf heading on up there. Giddy up. We are heading on up. Not a real guardrail, kind of a guard wall. Big ass poles. 
the snow plow snows to plow this thing off he uh he knows not to go over the side of the that'd be bad pretty phenomenal tundra protection area yeah no matter where you go there's always some sort of road construction right as though we're getting close to uh, 11,500 feet, which is above Timberline. We're getting there. Poles are just amazing. Can you imagine this place covered in snow? Look at this road snaking down the hill. 
This is not hill, that's a mountain. And it looks like we're coming to the Alpine Visitor Center. Coming around the bend. Oh yeah, check out that, it's a stairway to heaven. Eleven thousand seven hundred and ninety-six feet. Visitor Center. Got the fans blowing. And we're here. Alpine Visitor Center Trail Ridge Store, 11,796 feet in the 55. The highest paved crossing of the Continental Divide. Um, I know Cottonwood Pass is, yeah, anyways, I, this crossing, I think that was back there, is over 12,000. It's the highest continuously paved road in North America. So, uh, Kind of cool, right? It's an all-American road, one of Colorado's two. The other one is Highway 550, the San Juan Skyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be up here. We made it. Look at the 55 sparkling in the morning sunshine. Let's roll. Fire's right up. Love that. Here we go. Heading back to Estes Park and to Loveland, Colorado Event Center. Up this thing, come on. Boy, going up this is even better than going down. No guardrails. Unbelievable. Looks like the road just drops off into the sky. <laughs> and we'll continue upwards. I love it. the elevation for a rock cut 12,090 feet so there you go that's the highest highest crossing the continental divide National Park. 